It reminds us that if detectable civilizations are indeed rare, perhaps because many self-destruct before reaching advanced spacefaring stages, then we must be vigilant in safeguarding our own survival. In essence, if we are alone in the Milky Way, our failure to overcome our own challenges could extinguish the candle of consciousness in our galaxy forever. I think it was Carl Sagan again who argued, if a civilization like ours becomes a spacefaring civilization, so multiplanetary and then interstellar, then you have to have solved these problems that cause us to be violent, predatory. And so he suggested that as you make progress and become more powerful and navigate these problems, as we said, these filters that may lie in the future. So you have to, for example, learn to get on as a planet, as a civilization, as one civilization on one planet, in order to flourish and to go out to the stars. So he would argue that, I think he did argue that maybe these other civilizations would have solved this problem. And so they would not expect a violent sort of interstellar, a, a violent civilization to come in, as you see in science fiction films, and try to take over everything. Because violent thing, violent civilizations like that don't really solve the problems that are necessary to build interstellar spacecraft. That's what. Now, whether he's right, you know, it's coming. Maybe he's being optimistic. <laughs>